Oh my god. Wow. That is so sick. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Far on YouTube channel. All right, so this is pretty exciting. We're out here at the Chevy Daytona Experience booth. We've got a ZL1 behind me. There's Grand Sports down there. Chevy's releasing a new car today, and we are going to be the first ones to see it, cover it, get you guys some cool shots. We're incredibly excited, and it's going to be awesome. First up, we're going to see the official pace car driver, and then after that, like two hours later, they're going to show us the... Uh, the release of this new Camaro, and we think it might be an addition to the ZL1, but it could be like a Z28, so we don't really know. So we just got good news. The ZL1 Camaro is actually the Daytona 500 pace car. It's gonna be driven by Jeff Gordon. It's very exciting. You know, their new supercharged Camaro. It's got the 10-speed automatic in it, which is super awesome transmission, and that's gonna be sweet. He was talking about how he thinks this car can go with the green, and man, the car looks awesome, it's got lights all over, it's a super cool pace car, and we're excited to hear that Jeff Gordon's driving it. Okay, so now we're getting to the new car that Chevy's releasing. All we know is that it's like a new version of the Camaro, and they're super excited about it. That's why we're here is to see this. So hopefully it's cool. We don't know what it'll be, if it's a Z28 or a ZL1 or who knows, but we're excited. We'd like to welcome you to take a look at our brand new 4 sound. Alright, so we're going to do our best to kind of walk you guys through what we're looking at here. This is a new Camaro ZL1 1LE and it's got a lot of different things compared to just your normal ZL1, but not as far as like the Z28. This is a much more drivable car, but it's to that level of an extreme track car. We're going to kind of show you what it's got. The wing looks like it would you if you touched it. Yeah, first first off, it's got a crazy carbon fiber wing. You know, I'm not a huge wing guy, but it looks perfect on this. It's kind of like the Z28. It blends in with the rest of the car because there's so much aero. And this thing actually puts down 300 pounds of downforce. So that's that's some serious power out there. Did he get? Did he touch it? He said it's a 3D part. It's a 3D part. So we shouldn't touch it. Okay, no touch. <laughs> Well, I would, yeah, I would love the wing. <laughs> Let's talk about the wheels. It's got new 19-inch alloy wheels. One of the things about these wheels, it's got the biggest tire they've ever put on a Camaro. That's a 325 in the rear and a 305 up front. These are Formula One tires, they said, right? Something like that. That they've been developing for three years and supposedly super grippy, amazing traction. <laughs> so they told us they didn't need carbon ceramic brakes on this car because they're already so good that the yeah, well they, power wouldn't really be much. They basically said you can go carbon ceramic, like they can make it an option like they did in the Z28, but the price, yeah, in the Z06, but what you get doesn't really outweigh the, the price because they said these work great, they meet all their temperature standards and carbon ceramics really aren't necessary, which, you know, I agree with, because I know guys who've had to replace their carbon ceramics and it's expensive. Tires too, you won't see on any other car because yeah. they developed them specifically for this. Yeah, these tires are specifically made for this. And like I said, biggest tire ever put on a Camaro. The skirts and the mirror are the same. They just have a satin black like in the 1LE in the fifth gen. But up here, we've got a completely new redesigned custom fascia, well, looking fascia. It's got a grill that kind of pulls in more air. They've got wider, you know, things that kind of grab the air when the car is moving, as well as a crazy front lip. These are definitely one of the biggest things that we noticed right when the car pulled out too. It's a dive plane, kind of forces air upward, pushes that nose downward. 
especially when you're breaking. I mean, that's huge. Really cool. They look awesome. Best part, best part, Z06 engine. So same motor out of the Z06 C7 or the ZL1, you know, the new ZL1. They've got the LT4 supercharged motor. And uh, I guess they've got the cooling down pretty good on these. Camaro, they want to have it go off the track, running the same lap times as it did when it came on the track. So cooling is obviously a big deal with that. It's got to maintain a good temperature, and they said they've got that under control with this car and the Z06 now. So really excited to see it's a supercharged track car. Should be cool. You can actually see their cooling features back there. Oh, yeah. You can see them all in the front grille and everything. Yeah. The Very front specifically designed. I'm a big fan of the front grille. Big fan of that. It looks awesome. It's just so aggressive. Oh, they've got a flow tie on it too. So these are actually, I don't want to get too too intimate with the car here, but. So this is cool. They actually have it so you can adjust the camber from factory on these cars. I think they said 3.7 degrees negative camber you can put on it. It's got like a track mode and a street mode. So you can switch it back, you know, from a normal street camber to a track camber. That's pretty easy and that's cool. So one other cool thing that we were excited about is it only comes in manual, which is just kind of like hard. That's awesome. Yeah, because I mean, they're really big on the 10-speed too, to see that not make it into this car. Kind of yeah, nice. I kind of like that. Yeah. You know, it's like, if you're driving this car, it is not a daily driver. It could be, but you'd have to be kind of like, you know, you'd have to be a real car enthusiast, diehard guy, because to drive manual every day in a car with a really stiff suspension, I mean, not everyone's gonna do that, so that's that's cool to us. A oh yeah, rear cradle, it does have a solid rear cradle. It's hard mounted to the car. So it does have a solid mounted rear cradle, so you get a lot less compliance. I mean, this thing's gonna be pretty stiff. Yeah, there's Jeff Gordon's. There's Jeff Gordon's pace the car. pace car. The official pace car. Oh, it does have adjustable coilovers, you know that? So you can lower and raise the coilovers from factory in the front only. But I guess it's got 20 millimeters up and down or total, which is, you know, that's a significant amount. You can raise and lower that puppy all you want. Yeah, still got a back seat, so when you're taking the kids to school, you're gonna really get nasty with it. Oh, did you see they blacked out the taillights from factory? That's awesome. That's just Why haven't they been doing down. that? Yeah, they're doing all of them. I'm a fan. In the middle, the third one, like, too. Yeah, I mean, they went all black out. Looks awesome. So pretty much everything about this car, you can order your ZL1, just like you normally would have before this came out. So whatever color you want, whatever interior packages. And that's kind of the nice thing because in the Z28, I mean, you went to a full track car, you couldn't, I mean, AC was an option, but you got one speaker. I mean, they're keeping all the good amenities about this car as a normal ZL1 and then just making it into a crazy track car. So you better call up your dealers if you got a uh, ZL1 on order because yeah. you don't I mean, want this. Yeah, so literally if you have a ZL1, this is just an extra package on top. So it, it is a ZL1. You just gotta get that one LE package. And then you get all the aero. I mean, it looks cool. It does come and stick and you can't get a sunroof, but I mean, well worth it for what this thing looks like. It is completely Insane looking. It looks amazing. So I mean with just this arrow alone, this car is already three seconds faster at the Milford track than the normal ZL1. And I mean that's a lot of time. Three seconds on a two-minute track is miles. And I mean that's like they stripped it down. It only weighs 60 pounds less. Yeah, it, it's only 60 pounds less. So it, it comes down to aero more than anything for that and suspension. Oh, so they do come with that satin black hood just like the original one LE, but it's also as standard, you have to get the exposed carbon fiber which I don't know who wouldn't want exposed carbon fiber. Okay, so this is a 2018 car. They're gonna release it with the rest of the 2018s. They haven't told us the price. They haven't told us the top speed. So as far as the ZL1 1LE goes, I mean, we're pretty impressed. We thank Chevy for bringing us out here and showing it off to us, and we got a first look at it, so that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.